Then I watched my father eat a banana. That shouldn't be a story. <laughs> that should never have enough events attached to it that it needs to be retold. <laughs> Especially to the paying public. <laughs> Yet here we are. I watched my septuagenarian father, 50% of the reason I walk the earth. Take a banana. And then I watched him peel the entire banana. And then I watched him just hold a nude banana in his dirty, callous, union certified hands. Like, that's how it's always been done. What the fuck, my guy? Seven decades on this earth. And you're still fucking around with bananas like they're new to you? This man was a commercial airline mechanic for 40 years. I want everyone in here to know that. I want you to know it and I want you to remember it. Next time you fly somewhere and you're 35,000 feet over the Earth's surface and you hit some hard turbulence, the kind of turbulence where that light comes on for the seatbelt and the pilot comes on to tell you to sit down and even he's got a little shake in his voice like, when are you taking your seats? When he tells the, the flight attendants to sit down, I want you to remember that there was a real good chance that old Pat Kinane was under the hood of that steel beast at some point. <laughs> just dropping nuts and bolts all willy-nilly style into the manifold because he's too busy daydreaming about how he could fuck up other fruit. What is that, half inch or three-eighths? Ah, I stripped it out anyway. Hey, Tony, Tony, you think you can get all the seeds off a strawberry before you eat it? I mean, that'd be one meticulous endeavor, but that'd be a pretty rewarding berry once you got around to it. You can't tell me I'm wrong, though. You can't tell me I'm wrong. Bananas were the only thing Kirk Cameron talked about in his weirdo born-again Christian bullshit YouTube videos that made me believe in God for a minute. And I know that's a deep cut. For those of you that don't know, Kirk Cameron, yes, that Kirk Cameron, of 80 sitcom Growing Pains fame, Mike Seaver, hunk to us all. We were young, we were fluid before we knew it. Ooh, he's got a body like a bird, but that smile. A tingle, I don't know why. <laughs> One video that went viral, it's him coming on the screen, and he's like, so we still don't believe in intelligent design, huh? <laughs> Let's take a look at the banana. Huh? <laughs> and he holds up a banana. He's like, he's amazed. <laughs> look at that. Look at the way it fits perfectly into every corner of your hand. Kind of like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> then looks up like he did his homework the right way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which by that logic, you're, the, the church's stance against homosexuality falls apart right away. <laughs> And then he goes, and then when you want to eat it, huh, look at that. Comes with its own biodegradable wrapper. And I watched that video, and I was just like, ah. I think I gotta go to church. And then my father came into my home and just went, fuck your God, and sat there raw dog and a banana like that's how it's always been done. Then asked me for a paper towel because his hands were sticky. Get the fuck out of here. And people have the nerve to do genealogy tests. People have the arrogance to want to know where they're from. I don't want to know shit. You know what I know? I know that this produce toddler got together with the shadow whisperer long enough to figure out how sex work and put me in this world. That's all I need to know. I'm not digging around in that closet anymore. 
I don't want to know what kind of sorcery and black magic fuckery brought them together and got me to this point, but I'm not spitting on a Q-tip and mailing it off to 23andMe just so a year later they can send me back a picture of a monkey with its dick stuck in a coconut and the home phone number of the scientist who did the test written on it says, Mr. Kinane, you need to call us immediately. You seem to be an anomaly of the human race. I don't want to know where I'm from, and I'm not having kids, so the bloodline's done. You're welcome. Madison, thank you so very much. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you.